Democracy 2020 is being impacted by the ongoing pandemic, and it means people will be voting by mail in big numbers this year. We told you earlier about the Marion County Clerk's Office having trouble handling the absentee ballot applications. The story is similar at the Johnson County Courthouse in Franklin. In 2016, the clerk's office mailed out 1,028 ballots. The number this year is 10 times larger. The clerk has mailed out more than 11,484 ballots for next Tuesday's primary. Our voters are very interested in this election. It is a presidential. Um, with the safety, I think that um, our voters are concerned, uh, not only for themselves, but for our poll workers that normally work. And that's why they're voting by mail. Once we receive those ballots here every day, we have a system uh, processing them into our statewide voter system. And then at the um, after we've processed all of those ballots into our voter system, we run a report and then our bipartisan team um, balances the report with the ballots daily. Okay. The clerk says that in-person voting includes the cleaning of voting machines after each voter has cast their ballot. The county received personal protective equipment as well from the state. The Secretary of State's office tells RTV6 that as of Tuesday, almost 546,000 Hoosiers had requested to vote by mail. Compare that number to the last presidential year of 2016 when there was no pandemic. The state says just under 54,000 people voted by absentee ballot that year. As a reminder, you can also vote early in person. There are three early voting sites in Marion County, Broad Ripple and Beach Grove High School and the City County Building. You can go to voteindy.gov four, four times on where you can vote. And that's also where you can find a list of the city's 22 election day voting centers. If you live in another county, you can find your voting location at indianavoters.com.